I am sharing my testimony today just to encourage you as much as I'm encouraging myself because I'm coming to a place of faith and believe that I am an asset. I literally died at the age of three. It does not even make sense the level of warfare you have to face in your life. If not that, you are important. If not that, you are valuable to God. In this video, I want to encourage you that in the midst of all the warfare and all the things that you are experiencing, it is only one proof that you are an asset. And I want to talk about my story because I realized that looking back at my life and looking around me and seeing the warfare from my bloodline and everything that is happening around me, he could only send one message to me at this point from a place of faith that I am an asset. That is why the devil is fighting so hard. And before I even get into the story, if you check the stories in the Bible of every single person that God used and every single person that stood out and embraced the journey of purpose in life, they were fought heavily. You want to talk about your savior? From birth, Herod the king tried to kill him and in order to get him, he killed all the children in that time. About Moses, you could know the story when you read Exodus. And every other person, I want to talk about David, he was ostracized, he was pushed away. And scripture to make us know says that the devil comes only but to steal, to kill and to destroy. And every time you experience warfare or a kind of, you know, this fight, this battle in your life, it is because you are very important to God. And from a personal place, I would not be here sitting to make a video to you if not for the grace and mercy of God that I am here. Because I died, I literally died at the age of three. I called my mom to confirm because it's the story she told me as I was growing up. But before I made this video, I had to call her and ask her, how old was I when that happened? And she said I was three years old. The story is that my mom was cooking as we were in the village that time and I was lying down outside. So she said, let me go check my child because, you know, mosquito and everything in Africa. And she came to check me as I was lying down as a little boy and only to come and realize that our baby boy is no more breathing. I was not breathing again. Lifeless baby right there. So she did not start crying and yelling in the environment she took me straight to church and cried there to god with other people who prayed and through the prayer of the saints who were there in church and the faith that she believed that she's not giving up on her son god brought me back to life after about three hours according to the story she told me and i could only come to a place of looking back and telling myself I am an asset. And why did I come to this conclusion? Because in my time of growing up, I've had to experience so much warfare in my life. And all these things now, at this time, I'm just looking back and I realize that I am an asset. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. And that can be said of you if you are experiencing some kind of warfare and fight and things that are so disturbing in your life. It is only one proof that you are an asset. I remember one time that I was just sitting and then just reminiscing on my life and God told me, you are asking for a miracle. You're looking for a miracle. You're looking for a breakthrough. I want to remind you that you are the miracle. And the word came to me and I was like, maybe I am the miracle. I am the miracle. The fact that I'm still breathing today, I am the miracle. The fact that I'm still alive, I am the miracle because I've experienced series of accidents and the one I would like to share here again is the fact that in 2018 I experienced a gas accident that exploded in my in my house and then it almost condemned my legs and just thank God that I am alive because I can't even show the picture because of how graphical it is but all of this is to say if God has paid my life through all these things that has happened it is only one proof that I am an asset. And I am coming to a place of faith to believe this, that I am an asset to God. I am so valuable and useful to God. That is why the devil is so angry. When David was so valuable and God had a purpose on David's life, you know what happened? 
Saul the king tried to kill him. What do you want to say about Joseph? Because he had a bright future and he was so valuable to God, what happened? His own brother staged to kill him. And then they later made up their mind and said, okay, let's sell him out. Because once we sell him out, we, are, we have already destroyed the possibility of him becoming everything that he, he confessed that he's going to be. And sometimes the fight in your life is only a proof that you are an asset, you are important, you are valuable. Don't let it get you to a place of feeling not valuable. And I will share this other story of my life, which is I told you, I am sharing my testimony today just to encourage you as much as I'm encouraging myself because I'm coming to a place of faith and believe that I am an asset. I was addicted to masturbation and that was the devil's way of trying to steal my attention, trying to steal my relationship with God. And then God redeemed and delivered me from that. I am an asset. The fact that I had to deal with that, I am an asset. I have been sexually abused as a young boy and I'll share the story sometime and the effect and the trauma of all of that hit me hard and all of that is a proof when I look back that I am an asset to God. So there are so many things that you would say about your life that as much as these things are happening, it is only a proof that God has something on you and the devil is trying to steal, to kill and to destroy. And the order that I see as I was thinking about this video is that the devil want to kill the dream when you are a baby. He wants to stop you from coming forth. And since he couldn't kill you then, he will try to stage accidents and things to happen to kill you. And since he can't, he will now come to steal, to try and steal your attention, maybe with addiction, to try and steal your attention, maybe with being distracted by so many things, even with good things, even with the aspect of him making you look for money and this greed now comes to you grappling with it such that you would lose your attention and focus on God and be distracted. He is stealing from you. And then he goes ahead to try and destroy, to destroy you, to bring you down. So all of this is for you to know if you are experiencing any kind of difficulty in your life, you are an asset. You are that important. So this is for you to know that when the enemy tries so hard and so quick to take you out, it is just the proof that you are an asset. Yes, you are. Scripture says that God has so much precious thoughts about you. Psalm 189 verse 17 says, How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. They cannot be numbered. And the last thing I will say to you in today's video is that you have an adversary and you also have an advocate. As much as you have an adversary, what does your adversary do is to bring your case to God, a case against you, to accuse you, to tell God how much you don't deserve good, to accuse you, to try and steal from you. But then you have an advocate who said, yes, guilty as charged. Everything said about you, you are guilty. But then I am your advocate. I have paid the price for your redemption. I have paid the price for your salvation. I have paid the price for your peace. I have paid the price because the scripture says the chastisement of our peace was upon Christ. So he paid the price for our peace. I have paid the price for your healing that on his body he took our infirmities because as sure as he was wounded, that was the punishment. He was wounded for our infirmities, our sicknesses, our illnesses. So he says, I am your advocate. I am your comforter. I am your solace. In the places where the fear of death wants to grab you and pull you down, he says, I died. I am your advocate. So when scripture says, stay alert, watch out, your adversary, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, searching for someone to devour, it is your place to know you are not one that can be devoured because you are undevourable. Why are you, if that's even a language though, but you cannot be devoured. Now, from a real story in my life, after this situation of me as a young boy, when I died and God brought me back to life, one of 
my dad's stepbrother has gone late now. He said to me that literally what it meant was I am undevourable. Like in my language, which anybody that would hear the BBO here would know what I'm saying, which means something that you've cooked but you cannot eat. It means that thing is undevourable. So that is just the picture. And when they said it, yeah, I, I went to tell my mom because they said it to my face. I went to tell my mom what these people said. And my mom says, yes, they tried. They tried to, you know, take you out, but they could not. So it means you're undevourable. But what keeps you as a Christian undevourable is when you stay alert and know that you have an advocate. No matter what the adversary might be plotting and might be doing, you know, my advocate. Is there making a case for my peace to justify me, making a case for me to strip my enemy of their power and their authority because they have none. I hope that this video is encouraging to you already for you to know you are an asset to God. So right here, whatever is happening in your life, just know you are important and you are the miracle. Why are you the miracle? You are still breathing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I am Owen Akpan. Don't forget to like, to share, and then to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you even would like to share your story and the things you've been through and the fight around your life that the devil has been trying to steal, to kill, and to destroy the purposes that God has for your life. Let me know in the comment section and let's discuss from there. Thank you for watching. God bless.